Hi, everybody. I'm Diane Brady. I'm here with Steve Forbes, who is the chairman and editor-in-chief of Forbes Media, and we are at the Global CEO Conference in Singapore. Steve, you gave a great speech today, and you talked about this being the most important election since 1980, U.S. election. Why is that? Uh, because it will be about the direction of the United States uh, in terms of foreign policy. Are we going to be uh, active in the world, or are we going to uh, have a passive policy? which would not be good for uh, freedom in the United States and around the world. At home in the United States, what direction will the economy go? Will it be more government-directed, as you see in Europe, or will we revert to what we've done in the past, having more of a freewheeling enterprise system, which can get us back to 4.5% growth rates? So those questions have to be decided by the voters. And I think that's why 2024 is going to be crucial, just as 1980 defined the end of the Cold War, huge expansion, rise of Silicon Valley. I think we're at that kind of crossroads again. And I'm putting faith in the U.S. voter, but do you think that they will be voting on um, essentially the economy? Because it seems like right now they're voting on a host of different issues when you look at who's in the lead, or at least the GOP. The economy will be the big issue because mm -hmm. people feel the economy is not on the right track, mm -hmm. that they're not moving ahead the way they should that there is a firm direction in uh, Washington. They feel quite the opposite about that. Uh, the border issue, amazingly, is going to be uh, a huge issue because it's now hitting home in cities like New York City yeah. where Democrats are shooting each other politically. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what do we do about this? So, But I also think, though, uh, there's a sense, of, especially with the war in Ukraine, concern about Taiwan. Uh, what's the U.S. place in the world? How active should we be? Uh, what should we do with our military in the future? Right now, the Biden administration's betwixt and between. It sort of wants to have an active policy, but it doesn't want to put the resources into it. So you get crazy things like Iran. Oh, we must stop an Iran in the Middle East. But we're going to do a $6 billion hostage deal with Iran. Saudis uh, wonder, what's the U.S. up to? Yeah. 